guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing very well and I hope you are having a great day. Um, today I'm going to be doing another Kira Jade's favorite things video for the month of April. Oh my gosh, can you believe April has flown by like that? It's craziness you guys, craziness. So first, pro so first I'm going to start off with clothes. So I have been obsessed with the Harry Potter t-shirts from JJ's. I have three and I love them. Oh my gosh, they're so good. I got Gryffindor. Um, I got Quidditch. And I also got another Hogwarts t-shirt that has the, lo the symbol on it and also a picture of the Great Hall. And I love, love these jump, love these shirts so much. I've been wearing them like crazy. I'll have a link down below so you guys can buy them. You can get them off JJ's. Um, I think they still have some left. I will have a look for you guys first. Um, hopefully they still do have some. But if they do, I'll have a link below. If not, sorry. Um, anyway, um, moving on to makeup. So, I have been obsessed with the... Too Faced Semi Sweet and the Chocolate Bar Palettes. I love these so much, you guys. Oh my gosh, they're just so beautiful. I just love them. They're just incredible. And I just love them so much. They're just amazing. And they smell, oh my gosh, they smell like chocolate. And I've just been obsessed. I'll show you guys what they I've just been obsessed with these palettes. They're just incredible and I love them so much. Another palette I've been absolutely obsessing and I've mentioned this quite a few times here on my channel is the Australia's AC on Tour Highlighting and Contouring Kit. I love this uh, contour and highlighting kit so much. It's really, really good. As you can tell, I've been using it quite a bit. I've been using this powder to set my under eye concealer. It works amazingly and I love it. And I love the um, bronzes and all that stuff as well, but I mainly love this one the most out of the whole palette. I just really like it. I also like the um, the highlighting shadow as well. It's really, really, really pretty. It's a really pretty color. This one looks like you guys can see, but it's really, really pretty, and I really, really like it. All right, next is lipsticks. I have been well, lipstick. I've been loving the uh, Rimmel London uh, 107 lipstick. Let's just watch it. This is really good, you guys. Oh my gosh, this what it looks like. It's this beautiful red. I've been wearing this quite a lot lately and I really love it. And I've also been using this lip liner, also by Rimmel, to line my lips. This is in Red Diva number 24. Um, and I really, really like it. That's what it looks like next to it. So that's the lipstick and that's the lip liner and I really, really love um, these two together. They're just incredible and I'm like obsessed. Um, for foundations, I have been loving, oh my gosh, the uh, Revlon Nilly Naked foundation. I am in the shade Shell number 130 and I mix it with the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet um, foundation. I mix these two together. They create the perfect combination for my skin and I'm wearing it today and I love it. Oh my gosh. Obsessed. Really obsessed. Like, in, like just insanely obsessed. Next, my Mars Prefer Essential Brow Kit. You guys know this is my favorite brow kit ever. And speaking of brows, I also have been loving this month the Maybelline Brow Drama in Medium Brown. These two together are so good. Oh my gosh, I just love these two together for doing my brows. And I just love this. This is what this looks like. And I really, really just love these two together. They're just incredible and I'm like obsessed. Next is my NARS Creamy Concealer in Custard. Holy moly, I love this concealer so much. It's so good and I'm like obsessed with this concealer. This is what it looks like. It's a little bit dark, but I really like it. So yeah, I really, really, really like this concealer for setting my under eyes. I feel it does a really, really, really good job setting it. Wipe, wipe my hands. 
Okay, next is primer. I've been loving my Rimmel London Lasting Finish Primer. I repurchased this product recently again and I still love it. It's still good and I'm still obsessed with this product because it's so good. It really is good, guys. If you haven't tried this, you need to try it. It's like incredible. Alrighty, next are eyelashes. I have been loving the Socialized Lashes in Glamorous and also in Vamp. I love these two. These are so good. I'll have a link below to their website if you guys want to purchase any of these. These are really good and really affordable and I'm just like obsessed. I actually have three. I've got another one in uh, Tease 2.0. I'm still trying to figure these out but I so far I like these but I love these two. Oh my gosh they're so good. So I'll have a link below where you guys can get them. They're really good and I use the Adele uh, tweezers to apply them if you guys are wondering because they're really easy to use. Next are bronzers and uh, well, a bronzer and a highlight. A, sorry bronzer and a blush basically Hula Bronzer and Dandelion from Benefit. You guys know I'm obsessed. I just I just love these so much. They're so good. Ah, obsessed. All right, I think that is it. that is it for. Oh, actually, I forgot my mascara. I've been really really enjoying the L'Oreal Mega Volume Miss Manga mascara. I love this mascara. It's so good. I'm wearing it today. It's just incredible, and I'm like obsessed with this mascara. It's so good. All right. Moving on to skincare slash hair products. So, for skincare, you guys know I love the oil free moisturizer for combination skin from Neutrogena. I love this stuff. It's so good. I still use it and I love it. It's just amazing and loves it. Next is an old favorite. I rediscovered this. I'm so happy that I finally got it again. It's the Dipple Hair Hair Reduction Body Milk with a natural. Uh, papaya extract and sunflower oil. This stuff is amazing for after you've waxed or shaved. Okay, this stuff is incredible. It's so good. It really is good. It is a little bit pricey. It is $28, but it is 100% worth it. It really is. I This is my second bottle and I love, love this product so much. You can get it at Boutique. It's incredible. I love it, I'm obsessed, and it's just amazing. Next is BB Cream. This is the Pantene Pro V Ultimate Tan BB Cream for Hair. The ultimate multitasking treatment you need for incredible healthy looking hair. This is a leave on treatment and it is the best. It's so good. I use this every single night before bed. It's incredible. I put this on my hair and then in the morning it oh, it just makes my hair soft and lovely. I can't stop touching it because it's just so soft and I love it. I really love it. Next is the Garnier uh, Mineral Cleansing Water. I still love this product. This is my second bottle and I absolutely love this product so much. It's just incredible for removing eye makeup and everything. And also, one more makeup product. This is a uh, waterproof liquid liner. This is the Allure um, liquid liner. I got this actually from Kmart of all places and it is incredible. Oh my gosh, you guys. That's, it's so pigmented and it dries nice and, um, I think it dries more matte, I think, but it's waterproof and it is really, really good and it's from Kmart and it was, I think it was like $2 or something. It's really inexpensive and I really like it. I really, really do. So I really like that. Okay. I think that is it. Oh wait. Um, this is, I've also been loving this Kaku oil frizz defying curl cream. This stuff is amazing. It really is. I use this as kind of like Moroccan oil. I put this on my hair every day to help keep it hydrated and healthy and it just, I just really, really like it. This is what it looks like and it's just incredible and I really like it. And I've got one last, one last hair product guys. Um, this is the Tony and Guy Nourish Reconstruction um, Mask. This stuff is amazing, let me tell you. This is a five minute mask. You put it on cleaned, washed hair, 
while you're in the shower, let it sit for five minutes, rinse it out um, thoroughly and you are left with the most soft hair ever. It smells incredible, that's what it looks like. And I absolutely love this product so much. I've used this quite a few times and it is amazing. And also for nail polishes, I have three um, Essie polishes. I think I mentioned this in another, my, I think my last favorites video, or I think my March or February favorites, I'm not quite sure, but I have been loving the um, Essie uh, Romper Room. This is a beautiful baby pink and I absolutely love it. I've got this on my nails, I've got this on this nail with the polka dots. And this one is Hoot in the Heat, also by Essie. Another really pretty pink polish. It's coming up red on camera, but it's actually a really nice dark pink, and I really like it. And also Bikini Sotini is another favorite. I just just love these. I these are my two go-to favorite Essie polish. Excuse me, Essie polishes, because I'm just obsessed. And also, oh, last but not least, makeup brushes. Now, I got some new makeup brushes for my birthday recently, and I got the Real Technique brushes. I got two sets, so I got a whole bunch of sets, and oh, I'm dropping them everywhere. And I am obsessed with these brushes, you guys. They are so soft, just they're just incredible, and I'm like obsessed with these. I use these all the time now, and I love them. They're just so soft. Oh, love them. Anyway, that is it for this video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up because it really helps me out a lot. And let's see if we can try and get uh, 20 uh, thumbs ups because that would be just awesome. And I will see you guys in my next video. Stay beautiful, guys. Bye. I love you. Mwah. Bye, guys.